Billy with Gamer back online and we're doing a team of the week 20 investment guide. Well, it's normally it's just three to four players that I would invest in. It's four players this week that I think are gonna be going up in price quite dramatically. 20 to 50 percent within seven to fourteen days. The one of them is the goalkeeper, Walter Benitez. I mean, if you can get this guy for 24k, then you are pretty sweet. Keep him for about 7 to 14 days in the club and then sell him when he's 30 to 35k. And that's he'll go up more than that. So I'll wait for him to have about 35k, which I reckon will happen in about 14 days quite easily. Um, as I said, I'm only speculating there, so do not go, oh, it's been 14 days and he hasn't gone up that much, bro. I mean, you never know. Send a mid. Joan Jordan is another one that I would invest in or have invested in for about 26k you can get him that is not bad whatsoever for an 84 rated Spanish Spain like Spanish playing in Spain player so like I said he would be a, a pretty good purchase at 26k the other guy is the striker that's playing in the right wing Quagliarelli Quagliarelli Rella. You should be able to get this guy for about 34k. Um, look, the bid at the moment, you could even buy this guy and then just let people bid and they'll bid on him higher. But that's what is that on at the moment? 35k. If you go down here, you, you'll be able to pick him up for probably less. I'll pick mine up, I think, for about 34k. And I just went down here and there was a buy it now. There's 35k there, so it's gone above that. But you can see what I mean. There's a 35k and it's gone above that. And then that bidding at the end will just keep on going. And it will probably go up 38k because people do like to bid. They think they're getting the cheapest price when they bid. But you don't always get the cheapest price when you bid. Let's have a look. Just watch one. If it starts off low, it tends to go higher because people get interested and then start bidding like having a bidding war. So even though it started on 28k, that will probably go quite high. But we haven't got time to wait and watch that. It's too long, man. So we've got three players, we've got the Benitez, that guy there, Joel, whatever he is, and then Quagrele. The other guy is Donnarumma, the, um, the striker. You can currently buy him for about 25k. So I would purchase him at about that. Like I said, he was 20, uh, there you go, 25k. Maybe a bit less, if you can get him at less. But I think he is a decent, he plays... He's in the Italian second league, isn't he? Italian and is 84 rated. So I think he has scope to go up as well. Let's have a quick look at last week's one, which I don't even know who was in last week's one now. I'll try and remember. I'll search now. I packed Modric, so that weren't really a choice. I don't think someone was in last week's one. We can have a look which one. Basically, we packed the ones that we got loyalty on. So Lopez. Listen, I'm trying to compare price. Pay 34,000. He's currently 44 is the lowest. Which I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but that's 10k. That's a 30% increase, which is not bad. When you, if you think you can put a million pound in and get 1.3 million pound back in a week or two weeks. Quagliari, that was from last week. 34k we paid for him. He's currently going for 40 plus. Doesn't look like anywhere. But keep him for a few more days. I reckon he'll go above 40. That's my would be my uh, advice. Uh, who do we buy? Kashelny from last week. 27 and a half. Looking like he's gone up to 35k around that sort of mark. Let's buy it now. So again, like I said, Ben, this is not you're not doubling your money, but you're getting a 30 to 50 percent return on the ones we've looked at. Uh, Benitez we bought this week. Don't know what we bought this week. Juan Fran we bought a few weeks ago now. And he's gone up to 30. 30, okay. How much did we pay for him? 26. So 40%, a little bit less than 30, but more closer to 30 once you take off the 5%. Mural, did I, did I pack him? No, I didn't, I bought him. Let's see what he's saying. He's going for 26 and a half. Still a little bit of a 20% increase. Keen. Did we buy him last week? 19k we bought him for. 
and he's gone up to 25, 24, 20% increase, like I said, it's not bad, 20 to 30%. Dini, I don't know when I bought these, I don't know what whether it was a week before week, he's on 22k, I bought him for 15k, Shaw was last week, I'm not sure if he's gone up much, oh, that's not the button I was supposed to press. What is he, how much is he going on? Close to 18 and a half there. But he's gone up. The thing is, it's only 4k, but when you look at it in percentage margins, that's not bad. That's like 30% increase. I mean, if you could do that with your money every week, you'd be laughing. If you got, can build up a million and just turn it into 1.3 million every week, turn the 1.3 into 1.7 the next, 1.7 into 2.2, you know, you doubled your money within three weeks. Of doing spin, but obviously they're quite cheap. Let's compare. So even he's gone up to about 15k, and that's a decent percentage increase. That's another 20 30 percent increase. So, look, you can see that actually they do generally. I don't think there's much skill in picking them, to be honest. I don't think that I'm the man that just manages to pick the ones that go up. I think they all generally go up. Paid 45k for this guy, he's worth 60k now. So that's about, yeah, about 30%. As I said, they all took off about 30%. Thank you for watching and please subscribe for more investment videos. And Well, I just do squad builders as well. Some investments once a week. Billy was game over and